G'day! It's Heath here from PickingLessons.com. In this banjo lesson, we're going to take a look at Congress Reel, which is a traditional Irish reel, and we're going to play that in a melodic style on the five string banjo. Now, this does present some challenges for the right hand, so we're going to break down the tune nice and slow for part A and part B. And we're also going to take a look at some exercises that are going to help both the right and left hands, in particular bars. And we're going to take a look at the A Dorian scale, which is the mode that this melody is played in. So if you jump on over to the website at pickandlessons.com, you're going to find the tablature, you're going to find the next part of this lesson, and then we'll also find some play along and backing tracks as well. So first of all, let's have a slow play through part A. Part A, one, two, three, four. Okay, so spend some time on that section nice and slow, get familiar with the melody and watch the left hand fingering and the right hand fingers as well. What we're going to do now is take a look at the first bar and the second bar and just point out some of the things you need to keep an eye on. So firstly, in the very beginning of the tune, when we're holding these two notes here, finger one on fret seven of string four and finger three on fret nine of string three, we need to pick those notes in a slightly uncomfortable fashion. We're going to start off with the thumb on string three and then index finger on string four. So we're playing them sort of in a backwards way, perhaps the opposite that you might expect. So that leads us onto the next part of the melody though. So it's important that we start off with that thumb. So what we're going to have is thumb, index, thumb, index. Thumb, index, thumb, index. So worth spending some time just on those first four notes of the melody. Getting used to the thumb, index, thumb, index. And the way that they cross over in a backwards fashion from string three back to string four. Keep an eye on that. Again, the marking is in the tablature for your fingering, so check that out. Now the other thing worth mentioning here in the second bar is that our first finger is going to place itself over the two strings in a barring position on fret seven. So as we reach the second beat in bar two, our first finger lays flat across string one and string two. So we can hear both of those notes. What we don't want to play is fingertip, fingertip. We want to have our first finger flat. So our left hand is very minimal and we're covering those two notes. It's much smoother and much easier to play. So keep an eye on that. It is marked in the tablature as well as a, as a half bar on fret seven there. So check out those two parts in, in the first section of the tune. They're definitely the trickiest for your left and right hands. Spend some time just practicing those little sections. So the melody for Congress Reel is played in the A Dorian mode scale. Now the A Dorian mode is a minor mode and it's actually the second mode in the key of G. What that means is if we took our G major scale and wrote the notes down, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. If we started at the second note of that scale, we have A, so G, A. And then from A, we're running through the notes of the A Dorian mode, which would be A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and A. So essentially, the A Dorian mode is G major. It shares the same key signature, except our root note now is the A. In the melody for the Congress reel, it's actually using the A Dorian mode. And what we're going to take a look at now is a way of playing that A Dorian mode scale in a melodic fashion. So we're going to take a slow play through nice and close, but this is how it's going to sound. So learning that scale is going to help with this tune. It's going to help your understanding of the mode as well. 
So the Adorian mode, let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Okay, so spend some time with that mode, practicing that scale. Practicing your scales on your instrument is really important. You're always going to get benefit out of it for your technique. So jump on over to the website, picklessons.com. You're going to find part two of this video lesson. You're also going to find the tablature and some backing tracks to play along with and the tech work that goes with this lesson. So that melodic scale we just played then in the Adorian mode. Plus we're going to take a look at a single string version of that scale and an exercise for the melodic scale. Okay, I'll see you there.